This is a weird place to start, but I have to give you a recap of this match because it was insane. Um, we were absolutely dominant, and then, of course, went 1-0 down right before halftime, so, you know, I threw water bottles and all sorts at them, and uh, yeah, I, I think it worked. Um, Diop made a penalty in the 54th minute, which was then scored, easy peasy, right, no worries, and he got a yellow card for that. Then five minutes later, he gets a second yellow card and gets thrown out. We launched the fo board forward, the keeper catches it, he launches it forward towards Solanke. Solanke then elbows my defender, so he gets a straight, straight red card. All sorts of state stuff is happening. Literally the same highlight, right? Because of, I guess, the red card and all that, it says 60 minutes, right? <coughs> 62, sorry. We just launched the ball forward into their area and they make a penalty. So, so now it's 2 1 and they are two men down. And then, yeah, we end up smashing them, of course. But, uh, yeah, roll the intro because we are amazing. Welcome back, friends, fellow Vikings, and all that. Are you crazy here with uh, lots more Danish dynamite action for you? Um, yeah, like I said, we are absolutely amazing. Uh, last match we saw was the Tottenham match. Then we actually followed it up with a dominant win away to City, which is absolutely weird. I mean, we got a goal just loud. I forgot all about that one. But yeah, as you can see from the stats, I mean, it was a pretty boring game, right? But we definitely deserved it, and I'm not quite sure why. But uh, we just play lovely football this season, I'm going to say. <coughs> um, but then we, like I just showed you, smashed West Ham 5-1 with some help from their players, which is amazing. Then, of course, Watford turned up, and uh, yeah, we lost 1-0, because as you do, right? Yeah, a 3-0 win over Crystal Palace, a 2-1, <laughs> god damn it, a way to CSK in Moscow, it's just one of those. We hit the woodwork so many times, and they went 1-0 up, and it was like, oh my god, I was... So frustrated, right? But we did ima eventually end up winning the match, but uh, it was one of those games. And literally, like, I think we had like 18 shots or something. I'm glad I didn't show you the match because literally all the shots were a highlight. I was just sitting here like for 30 minutes watching, our, watching us hit the post and shoot wide and one-on-ones being saved. And it was like, uh, uh, yeah, we won in the end. So <sighs> followed up with an amazing one little win over Norwich. 2-0 versus Oxford, where I played all the young kids and all sorts, and uh, yeah, and we just beat West Brom 3-1, which was a very good game, and as you can see here, like, Peter Christiansen has actually been quite the surprise this season, um, and he has been because, well, there's a lot of injuries we've had, like, small injuries, Unlasen is still out, Benjamin Jensen is injured, Bungo is injured, so it's actually, like, starting players that have been injured, which is not good, but, um, yeah, Christiansen has really taken his uh, chance, so... Hopefully he continues that form because today we're playing Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League and it's probably going to be the battle for first place. I mean, not surprising, right, with FC Copenhagen and CSK Moscow in there, but you never know. <laughs> and uh, we, we play some lovely football, but we also play some terrible football sometimes, so you never ever know what's going to happen. But uh, yeah, let's get into the Team Selezione, which is literally going to be the exact same as the last match because, yeah... Injuries and stuff permit us from making any real changes. So it's going to be Jakob from Festersen, Hansen, Paulsen in front of Denholt. So com um, completely normal back five, I guess. Uh, Narty Hoyt, yeah. Mm, yeah. Narty has been playing well, so um, Julfo off the bench is absolutely necessary. But um, yeah, and then of course, there's Jansen out on the right. I mean, let's see his form. He's actually scored four goals and two assists in the last five matches, which is pretty darn good, right? Our... Wonder Kid Rasmussen is going to play in, as a shell striker in the middle because, yeah, we don't really have any AMCs available. So he's just going to play in there. He kind of likes it, so it's all right. But he's been a bit disappointing, actually, which is why Kat Jensen has been playing on the right. But, um, yeah, I mean, this, this match he's going to play in there. Damsko on the left and Fagir up front. Fagir has also been pretty much on, on... I say that. It's not actually that impressive. But, I mean, he scored some goals here and there, so... I guess it's not too bad, but um, yeah, it's really our wingers that have been actually amazing, which is, I guess is a good thing, but... And the Dortmund team actually looks very familiar, right? I mean, there's Gabriel Jesus in there, which is kind of strange, but I like it, I like it. But uh, yeah, it's still Vans, Reina, Bellingham, Witzel, Hummel, Süle, like, they have the Bukovic in goal, though, and that's just pretty interesting. But they also bought Emiliano Bundia, which is pretty interesting. I mean, that kind of fits with them. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's still some old faces in there, like Hummel. 34, he has 7 pace. I mean, surely we can punish that, right? Surely. 
But uh, yeah, let's get into the game and uh, hope for a good result. Dortmund with the corner is the first highlight, which is always terrifying, of course. Um, but Emmy picks up the ball again. <coughs> I mean, ooh, that's some lovely football and Brandt is in. Oh, great save himself. Okay, let's just encourage the lads as we, Dortmund are on the ball again. Bellingham just driving it forward. Like, what the heck? How are we letting him do that? Or why? Or what? I mean, sensational soul strike. Well, I would have to agree. But, I mean, he literally picks it up all the way down here by the, almost his own box or whatever. And he's, what? What was that? Who's that? So it's not Hansen. Actually, is it Hansen? No. It's definitely Christensen. That is not defending. Right? Well, finally we see us having the ball, which is interesting. Fakir is in. Oh, is it upside? No, it's not. Why? Well, Okay, it's not, it's actually not. Oh, I was worried there for one second. Okay, let's encourage the lads. That was, that was a bit sneaky there. Paul's not yellow, and he's, of course, involved. That was the first time, and that's to Rasmussen, and then... It's a very strange little cross there, but it somehow worked. Um, yeah, good goal from Fagia. Right before halftime, the potential another chance. It starts with a throw in, what? Again, from Paulson, and that was a strange chance. Uh, of course, the following corner is not going to materialize anything, but it just dropped to Narcy. We can definitely do something here. Ooh, that was tense. Just... What? So we're seeing... Um, yeah, apparently we're seeing the goal line technology, which is very helpful. I mean, did you see that? That was very, very helpful information there from SI. The, I am so much more wiser now than being... Holy moly. I mean, that's also half time, so... um. That's, I'm going to say I'm not happy. Uh, I mean, I guess I am in a sense, but I mean, I'm not happy with drawing. We need to win the home match at least uh, to get any chance of like finishing first in the group, which obviously we want. And no, I mean, obviously Dortmund are great, but I mean, we, it could have been a lot worse. Like, oof, it was very close. I mean, we could have played Real Madrid or Barca or whatever, right? Dortmund, you feel like you can take them. Oh, good defending. I guess Paulson is in. Come on, faster lads, we're, we're stalling here, we're stalling, okay. C yes, yes, recycle, Jakobsen, super, ah! That was a beautiful goal, actually. And like I said, yeah, he's, it's his first goal this season, Mr. Rasmussen. He hasn't really been on form, right? But, you know, he probably needs a bit of time to settle in. I mean, he is a new signing, after all, so. Whereas the other one is like a, our old regen. A great little finish there. Nicely done, lads. Okay, focus, focus. Okay, six, six minutes ago, I mean, look at the stats. We are absolutely dominant, right? If we don't win this match, I'm going to be very, very sad. Let's make a change, though. Hmm, who's we actually put on? Let's just put uh, Thijs Brandt out there on the left, our number 69, I just noticed. Yeah, so our bit of a wonder. I mean, they're all bloody wonder kids, right? Confirm changes. <coughs> but, uh, you know what I mean. Right, well, literally nothing is happening, so we may as well just make some changes here, because uh, Narty is starting to struggle a little bit, so we put on Flynn, Flynn, you'll score immediately, like our, uh, our wonder kid, Jesus. Uh, Hoybea is also struggling a little bit, so, and he's not playing really well. Let's just get Chukwani in there, let's put him on a defensive duty, let's just not, let's not take any chances, right? Also, I'm going to... Yeah, let's start wasting time. Why not? Let's not do anything silly. I mean, we are absolutely smashing them. It's a shame we're only winning 2-1. But should I have said that? <laughs> Is this the patented counter-attack goal? It was very close. Okay, as long as it goes out. Okay, okay. Uh, well, it's, I don't, it doesn't look like a counter-attack, at least. But don't do this to me, game. They've had two shots on target. Okay, don't you... I mean, they've still had two chances. They've still had... Okay, it did count as a goal. Uh, as a shot, sorry. You are taking the... <sighs> what is that? It's a Rainer. It's a good little ball to Bellingham. And then crosses it in. And then what happens? It's Paulson that smashes it in on Loftus Cheek. Who then... I mean, that is very lucky from them. <sighs> you are... Just joking, right? So it's 2 2. Look at these stats. I mean, they had, what was that? Six yellow cards. That's definitely cheating. <sighs> that is frustrating. So frustrating. I'm not happy, lads. I'm not happy. 
Uh, um, they will learn from the experience. I'm not gonna bloody. Get, I'm not in the business of praising opposites in, or opponents. No, that is frustrating. Twenty-two shots to five. Okay, okay. Wooza, wooza, wooza. We played Chelsea in four days, so let's just skip to that one because I am feeling annoyed. Right, it's time for the classic battle at Stamford Bridge, which is something the Vikings are sadly used to, and uh, I. If I remember correctly, it didn't end well for the Vikings, which is uh, maybe embedded into SI history. That's why we keep losing. Um, but um, yeah, the squad is going to remain literally the same because uh, our players are still injured. Because uh, Jensen is not quite there yet, but I'm going to start him. Uh, and then we have Robert Cole, who can always come on if absolutely need. But it's just going to be the same. We played some lovely football versus Dortmund, and we were very unlucky, I think, um, to get the 2 2. I mean, that was just silly. I'm still. Okay, wooza, 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 it's a new game, new game, um, uh, we owe oh, Chelsea, yes, we do, we definitely owe them all sorts, but, um, yeah, let's smash these fools, right, and yeah, I just remember, they bought bloody Joe Felix this summer, that is terrifying, terrifying indeed, as if they weren't good enough already, and Chukwese on the right, so, we, we should keep that in mind, because we have Chukwani, at some point he's gonna come on, we're gonna confuse the heck out of Chelsea players, as they just have a uh, throw in immediately. <clears throat> now, of course, they always, we always end up like losing 4-3 or something when it's versus Chelsea. So it's going to be entertaining. It's definitely going to be lots of highlights as Kante just scores in the first minutes. I mean, what? 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 I mean, it was to be expected almost, but come on, lads. Skip. I don't need to see that again. Encourage. I mean, two minutes gone. We now have a throw in. It is. Throw in central here. Come on, it. Ah, just over the bar. I will just say, even if this holds out, I mean, we are still first in the Premier League, and no one is going to be able to overtake us this round at least. But um, yeah, of course, we don't really. I mean, we don't want to lose any matches really, right? Oh, that's terrifying, Kante now. Oh, it's straight to Asmussen. Come on, lad. He's out on the right. Yes, <coughs> Peter Jen. Go on, lad. He does it again. Five goals this season so far. I mean, wow, that was a great, great play there. Encourage the lads. That was really, really well. I mean, it was Kante who literally threw the ball away, which is um, a bit silly. And then somehow he doesn't win it back, which is unrealistic, right? He would already be down here and won the ball back eight times if it was in reality, reality in real life. But um, yeah, I'm not complaining. I mean, right, I'm just going to pause it right there. You, you can kind of tell that we have, we have, I don't know why, but we're just playing better at the moment. Like, Last season, we would have been absolutely smacked by now, and we still might be, don't, don't get me wrong, but the stats suggest we're playing, I mean, better than Chelsea, and we are away. The same happened with City. It was a boring game, but I think that's because we've improved, so we don't... Uh, I'm going to say this now, right, and it's going to bite me, but we don't make all them stupid mistakes, uh, at least not as many, so they don't just have ten chances where, if, if they're good enough, they're at least going to score two of them, right? If it's Martinez and Felix, they're definitely going to score some of them, but... It's just, I don't know, maybe we've just grown enough. Which is weird, because this is the season where I sold all the young, uh, the experienced gang, right? And now we're doing all the, um, uh, I'm going to say I'm not happy. I'm going to try and, and rile them up a little bit. But this is the season where we're doing all the regen stuff. So it's a bit weird that this is where we seemingly are more experienced. But I don't know. Again, okay, so second half is on the way as I'm just rapping. It's a, I mean, that was literally out of nowhere. Of course, it did, the highlight started with the corner, so there's always a chance, but how did it end up to at Hansen? That looked a bit strange. Let's get rid of this one. First. I mean, the keeper is... Yeah, he, he just got lost. He was, like, he was on his way to... I, I'm not sure. Because, um, Jensen, I mean, you've scored a goal, but you really are struggling. I don't want to risk you too much, so what are we going to do? What are we going to... We have Robert's goal, at least. Straight swap, easy peasy. Very, very good. I mean, I'm happy to have Robert's goal in here. So experience 27 is just very, very solid. And he, and he, of course, he can play left back as well. And he can play, well, numerous roles. But, which is very good to have as a... Oh, that was terrifying. Paulson says, no, Chukwese. If Chukwese scores, we all know what happened. What is happening. Yes, we do indeed. Narty off. Chukwani on. <coughs> if they're going to play that game, I can play that game too. You're not fooling me, Chelsea. If you want to confuse our players with strange names, then we will... Do it right back at you. Chukwese. I mean, he kind of created himself. Great ball from James, to be fair. And then, 
Should the keeper do better? It's one of those. The keeper's already dived like five seconds before the actual shot comes in, and he somehow still doesn't reach it. Mm. Of course, now we have Chukwani on. We're bound to confuse them, right? They put on Pulisic. They've actually taken off Chukwizi. See? It is... I was going to say it's working. Might not be working, but they are afraid of our tactic there. They know. They know the weakness of the Chukwani, Chukwizi, um, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to make a change here. Fakir, you've not been good this game. Let's get uh, Kaufman up front. Is it Kaufman? Yeah, Kaufman. Who randomly scored twice in some game. I can't remember which it was. But other than that, it's... Uh, oh, come on. Kante. Don't let Kante score twice. I mean, what a... Wooza, oh. wooza, wooza. I mean, no one. Literally no one is tackling him. Doing anything to him. Okay. I mean, he's very isolated here. That's fine. But then, what is that? That's actually Chukwani. So he's the one who's bloody confused. Crying out loud, you're not Chukwese, you are Chukwani. And now, are they gonna just rub it in our something something? As who was that? Paulson somehow scrambles it off. Okay, so another corner now, Pulisic. I mean, surely not. In Pavu, that's twice in a row he was close. Okay, that was some sick defending there, but come on, I mean, stats now are at least very, very even, so I can't complain too much. But twice we just let Kante just run in there and, like, score. Like, is it something tactical? It's not really. Okay. You need to actually defend there. Okay, let's go. Go on, lad. 3-3 three, three is... Okay. I mean, what is that? Twice in a row. They just can't even pass it to them. Uh, and now Chelsea are going to rub it in, aren't they? No? Actually, we might have a uh, counter here. What's that? I mean, that was sick defending from Callum hudson Odoi. Not something you necessarily expect. So we've had defending from Odoi and then attacking prowess from Kante. Because that's, that's our margin is so close there. Good save from Stenhoff, actually. This is a strange match. I mean, we're actually going to lose this match. So a draw versus Dortmund, that was completely ridiculous. And then this one. I mean, very even game, but they clearly hit the target where we did not. And um, that is pretty disappointing. I'm going to say I'm not happy, actually. I think we could have played uh, a lot better, but we did work hard. Losing, uh, eh, sure, why not? I'm disappointed. Chelsea got lucky. I don't think they did, but I think a draw would have been fine, right? But away to Chelsea, it's always going to be difficult. And, I mean, we are still top of the league. We've lost the tri two games, of course, to the might of Watford and now Chelsea, which is not good, but... It's not the end of the world, and I noticed like Tottenham were down there again. Of course, we smashed them 5-1 in the opening, so that's pretty fun. But um, Yeah, this, of course, is also a bit of a tricky patch here, because the next one is going to be Arsenal away as well. Then FC Copenhagen but also away, and then Liverpool at home. And then, oh, no, and then the toughest one ever, Watford. Oh, my God. And then Manchester United. So, I mean, I don't really care about the Carabao Cup, so I don't want to show that one, because, well... I'm not quite sure, but I think we, I think we should do some uh, FC Copenhagen in there. We might actually do FC Copenhagen and Manchester United at home. That would be fun. I mean, Copenhagen, we literally are in Copenhagen. Or should we do it away? I don't know. But, anywho, we're going to do some Champions League and a big tie, that's for damn sure. But, um, yeah, I hope you liked the episode, and if you did, press like, subscribe and all that. And uh, I'll see you next time uh, for some more Danish Dynamite.